I still have a chest infection and talking is really hard. <laughs> hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is on the makeup look that I'm wearing. You guys said that you wanted another tutorial using the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette, so I listened. This is actually the makeup that I wore to my birthday party if you guys follow me on Snapchat. It is very bronzy and very wearable, so if you guys want to see how to do this, just keep watching. So I've already primed my eyes using my MAC Soft Ogre Paint Pot and set that with my face powder. Now we can go in with eyeshadow. I'm going to start off with Puree on a Sigma E40 brush and tap off the excess this time because as we learned in my last Sweet Peach tutorial, these eyeshadows are very pigmented. So I'm just going to blend this into my crease as our transition shade. Obviously did not tap off enough excess. Just blend that out again. Don't worry about the edges being messy because we can clean that up later. <laughs> that was way more eyeshadow than I wanted. The next shade I'm going to take is Summer Yum and I'm just taking this on a smaller Sigma E25 brush and I'm just going to blend this into my crease as well. I feel like these two colors just make the perfect transition color. Just blend, blend, blend. That's not the brush I wanted. What? Now for our lid color, I'm going to take the shade Luscious on a flat shader brush. And then I'm going to spray my brush with some of the Urban Decay setting spray. I just got that all over my mirror. <laughs> Not bad. Um, and then I'm going to pack this onto the first half of my eyelid. As you guys can see, the setting spray just gives that eyeshadow this sort of foiled effect. Then I'm just going to blend what's left over on the brush onto the other half of my eyelid. And now clean my mirror. Next up we want to take the shade Caramelized on another flat shader brush. And I'm just going to pack this onto the outer half of my eyelid. So it's just going to give it some more definition. And as you can see we're getting quite a bit of fallout. So this is why you want to do your eyeshadow first guys. I'm just going to blend those two eyeshadows together where they meet in the middle. And I'm also going to take some of Caramelized on that blending brush we used and blend this into my crease a little bit as well. Just concentrating it on the outer corner and then blending it inwards. Then I'm just going to take a clean blending brush and make sure everything is nice and blended. You guys know the drill. Now, if this bronzy look is intense enough for you, you can stop here, but I want to add a little more contrast. <clears throat> My voice keeps like breaking like a pubescent boy. <laughs> I still have a chest infection, but I want to add a little more contrast. So I'm going to take the shade Tempting just on that blending brush and blend this into my outer V. Now I'm just going to go back in with a blending brush and blend everything out again. <laughs> blending is key, guys. Now for my brow bone highlight, I'm going to mix the shades Nectar and White Peach together and then pat that on with a flat shader brush. So I'm going to leave my eyeshadow for now and move on to eyeliner. I'm just going to take the Maybelline Master Precise Liquid Liner and draw on a thin line on my top eyelashes. Just because we're wearing some pretty intense lashes with this look. And this is just going to help blend in the false lashes into a natural lash line. Damn it. It's okay, we'll fix it up in a second. So if you happen to get eyeliner on your eyelid like I did, you want to take a really small precise brush and the eyeshadow that matches where the eyeliner is and just pat this on. Ta-da! It helps a lot when the eyeshadows are really pigmented. Next up I'm going to add a few coats of mascara. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I really like this mascara but I feel like there's always too much on the brush. And I don't want to keep wiping it off because that's such a waste of product. Then for false eyelashes today, I'm going to use the... Oh, I'm missing one. There it is. I'm going to use the Coco Lashes in Foxy. I love these lashes. They're so full and voluminous. This eye is always so much harder to do than the other. Ooh. 
Next up, I'm going to take a cotton pad and some of my micellar water and just clean up this fallout. Oh, I just got it all over the table. This stuff is the best. Cool. Now let's move on to our base. For our base, I'm going to start off with the Maybelline Baby Skin Primer. Just take some of that on my finger and then work it into my skin. I like to apply it in like the center of my face and then rub it outwards. Just because I find that I need it most in the center where you guys can see my pores. The skin feels so soft with this stuff. For foundation today, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Matte Foundation. Just to move my hair out of the way. So I'm just going to take some of this on my beauty blender and blend it in. Remember how I was saying how my face has switched breakout sides? Well, now it's decided to break out on both sides. At least it's being consistent. I don't know what's causing it though. I think it might be dairy. Is that like a normal thing to cause breakouts? I just love cheese. I don't know if I could give up dairy. Now to highlight my face and hide my dark circles, I'm going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury, the Retoucher Conceal and Treat Stick. This is in the shade Too Fair. I love things that are in like a little brush like this. Just feels like I'm painting my face. Is that just me? Probably. Now we just want to blend that out with our beauty blender again. And this is where we can clean up the edges of our eyeshadow as well, if you're like me and just made a mess of things. I really like this concealer. So easy to blend. So to set the concealer, I'm just going to go in with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Bit of a mind blank just then. Where's my brush? There it is. So I'm just going to take some of this on my Real Techniques setting brush and pat this on. Then to set the rest of my face, I'm just going to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Powder. I'm almost out of. Luckily, it's not that expensive, but it's really good. I need to do something about my foundation lips. They're looking kind of gross right now. Just going to clean that up with some micellar water. Now onto our contour. I'm going to use Hoola by Benefit Cosmetics. I feel like I haven't used this in so long, but I love it so much. So I'm going to take some of this on a, on a Sigma small contour brush and I'm going to use this to contour my face. You guys know the drill. And I'm going to contour my jawline. Do you guys like my earrings by the way? They're little ladybugs and they have foundation on them at the moment. And I'm also going to contour my nose today as well. I might take a different brush. So I'm just going to take some of my bronzer on a Sigma medium, medium angled shader brush and contour my nose. Let me know if you guys want like a nose contouring video as well, because I can definitely do that for you guys if you want it. For blush today, I want to use something from the Love Flush palette by Too Faced. This is so pretty. Ooh. So I think I'm going to go with I Will Always Love You. It's sort of like an orangey color. And I'm going to take that on a Sigma large angled contour brush. I hate destroying the little TF though. And I'm going to brush this onto my cheeks. Then for highlighter today, I'm going to use Becca's Champagne Pop Highlighter. So I'm just going to take some of this on a Sigma FO3 brush and apply it to the usual places. So the tops of my cheekbones. Oh my god, can you guys see that? Then my forehead, nose, cupid's bow, oh that was a bit much, oh well, and chin. Now it's time to finish off our eyes, so I'm going to take puree on a pencil brush and I'm just going to smudge this into my lower lashes. And you really want to smoke this out as well, at least I do. Then I'm going to take the shade Tempting on an angled brush. This is actually an eyebrow brush by Sigma, but oh well, we're using it for eyeshadow today. And you just want to smudge this right underneath your eyelashes to really define that lower lash line. And for my inner corner, I'm just going to take White Peaches and Nectar again, uh, just on a pencil brush, and blend this in. Oh, I can smell this palette. It smells so good. 
For our waterline, I'm going to take the Balm Mr. Right Now in... Where's the shade? Jack. It's just a really nice sort of olivey golden colour. And I'm going to put that on my waterline. Then obviously to finish off our eyes, we want to go in with some mascara onto our lower lashes. Now I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows and I'm going to use my usual Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Ebony. You guys have seen this a million times before. I do have a separate eyebrow routine video if you guys want to see it more in depth. But I'm just going to take some of this on a Sigma angled brow brush. And yeah, draw on my eyebrows. I love this eyeshadow so much. I just love this palette in general so much. Oh my god. I think this is my favorite palette ever. Too Faced, you cannot make this limited edition. Make this permanent, please. Now all we have left to do is our lips. So I'm going to take the Bourjois Lip Liner in shade 11. And I'm just going to line my lips with this, obviously. Then for lip colour, I'm so excited to use this. This is the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Sellout. Lots of Too Faced products today. Also, just want to let you guys know, like any lip colour, we'll go with this eyeshadow. And this is the finished look. As usual, I hope you guys enjoyed watching and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't yet. Really does help me out so much. Also, leave me a comment below and let me know if you have any video requests. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys! Hey guys, so we're just getting ready for day four of Fashion Week.